Hi guys, this is Virendra. Today I'm going to talk about converting a binary tree to binary search tree. So given a binary tree like this, we want to convert this into a binary search tree on the right. First of all, what is a binary search tree? In a binary search tree, all the elements in the left subtree are less than or equal to the root element and all the elements on the right subtree are greater than the root element which is not true in the given binary tree. You can see there are elements like 6 and 8 on the left subtree of the root. Okay. So let's look at some of the algorithm insights for achieving this. First of all, what we are going to do is we are going to do a traversal of the given binary tree in an in order fashion. Then we will sort that in order array. After sorting, what we are going to do is we are going to traverse the binary tree as well as the sorted in order array simultaneously okay and at each node of that binary tree we are going to replace the values at that node with the values in the corresponding elements of that in order array this will become clear as we go through the algorithm and visualize it so this is the given binary tree we are going to traverse this in an in order fashion and construct an in order array let's understand what is in order traversal first so in in order traversal we traverse the left subtree first when the left subtree traversal is done we print out the root then we traverse the right subtree after doing that we'll populate the output here this output is basically an in order traversal array so let's start with the root we'll traverse to the left subtree again towards the left since at 3 the left subtree is empty we'll print out 3 will traverse to the right of 3 we are at 6 the left subtree of 6 is empty so we print out 6 and traverse towards it, its right at 8 we don't have any left or right subtree so we print out 8 okay we go back and we see that the left subtree of 1 is traversed so we'll print out 1 and traverse towards the right subtree of 1 which is 4. At 4 there are no left or right subtrees so we print out 4 and then we go back to 0. We see that left subtree of 0 is traversed so we print out 0 and traverse towards its right subtree and then we follow the same rule for the right subtree of 0 okay and we print out all the elements. So we got the in order traversal array. The next step is to sort the in order array. After sorting the array looks like this now the third step is to traverse the binary tree the given binary tree and the in order array simultaneously we, we are going to traverse this binary tree in an in order fashion and at each node we are going to replace the elements from that node with the elements in the in order array okay so let's see how it works let's start from the root we go to the left subtree then again left since the left subtree is empty, we are at the root 3. What we are going to do is we are going to replace 3 with the first element in the in order array. We replace it with 0. Then traverse towards the right subtree. Since the left subtree of 6 is empty, we replace 6 with 1, which is the next element in the in order array. And then we traverse towards the right. 8 is the leaf. It doesn't have left or right sub subtree. So we replace it with 2 which is the third element in the in order array since the left subtree of 1 is traversed we replace 1 with 3 which is the next element in an in order array keep an eye on this particular array as well as the traversal here so we are replacing the elements here with the elements here okay you might miss that then we go towards the right replace 4 with 4 and then we see that the left subtree of 0 is traversed so we are at 0, we replace 0 with 5 and we do the same for the right subtree. Okay. And finally we have a binary search tree. So you can see that all the elements of each no all the elements to on the left subtree are less than all the elements in the right subtree. That is true for each subtree. So for example, if you take this subtree uh, rooted at 3, you'll see that all the elements in the left subtree are less than or equal to 3 and elements on the right subtree is greater than 3 right 
so that rule should be true for each element in the tree then and only then we can refer that tree as binary search tree okay let's go ahead and look at the code so the code is pretty straightforward there are three steps first we create an in order array then we sort the in order array and then we change the node values in the given binary tree with the corresponding elements in the in order sorted in order array okay those are the three steps so first let's look at how we create this in order array the code is pretty simple it's just the way the pseudo code looks like so first we uh, traverse the left subtree we populate the in order array and then we traverse the right subtree okay after sorting i have not included the sorting step because we are using the one of the collections method from java we just have the third step here which is basically changing the node values of the tree binary tree so here basically at the point where we have traversed the whole left subtree we are replacing the node values with the corresponding values in the in order array okay and then we are traversing the right subtree that's it those are the three steps in the algorithm which achieve the conversion of a binary tree to the binary search tree so let's look at the complexity of the algorithm the time complexity is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of n time complexity is order of n log n because of the sorting and the space complexity is order of n because of the extra space that we are using for the in order array right so that's all about the algorithm please stay tuned we also have an article on this particular problem on www.idesof.co.in please leave us your feedback about the article as well as the videos below in the comment section or on the comment section on the page please stay tuned and subscribe to the channel thank you